Hello and welcome back to this Trails from Zero Let's Play with me, SLJRPG. In the last episode, we defeated this demonized form of Joaquin Gunter. He exploded and then did this little trap here. We said we weren't going to go happy until we got the little girl back. We had the little girl key and in Josh's and uh, Estelle's case, Ren back in their arms. And when this was said, a girl's voice said, Hee hee! At the back. I may not be your brother, but I could still lend a hand. Of course it's Ren. Ugh. We saw that back at the hospital. Patter matter. Ren! Pitiful, but he probably deserves this. I put him out of his misery. Patter matter. Blast him smithereens. Double Buster Cannon. We're free. Hell yeah, let's finish this. This is your last chance. You can't keep it up much longer, so hurry and finish this. Ah, uh, Is that one more battle? Okay. But we're all at 200. Nice, we're each going to do an ex an extraordinary version of our own. A Death Scorpion. Gone right through the heart of the fucker. Anita Buster. And then one last Tiger Charge. You continue to surprise me. I hate to admit it, but you made me regain my control. For that, you have my thanks. Jakeem, why? Um, please, spare me your pity looks. Our goal may still remain unfulfilled, yet our ambitions were reached. She can do it. Somebody, Lady Key, will. Oh, so there we go. We have fucked up, Jakeem. Uh, full of nonsense right up until the end, but I f still feel sorry. Yes, a man fucked up by his own fate. Huh. Don't let it eat at you. The moment he swallowed those pills, his fate was sealed. Yeah, that's true. Still, I would have liked to have saved him if possible. Yeah, he wasn't able to snap out of his delusions, even with the death staring him in the face. Hope they would answer all the crimes and admit his guilt. Wanted so badly for the victims, and even for myself. Lloyd. It's okay, Lloyd. Hey, what the hell are you getting all moody about? Randy? We ain't got us, pal. Things aren't always gonna end well. Look, we only got this far because we worked our asses off. I'm not saying this is the ideal outcome, but it's still pretty damn good, ain't it? Randy, I... During the operation against the Lodges, a lot of cult members committed suicide. Guy Arias, Chief Sergei, stepped over countless dead bodies to save me. Unfortunately, there are times when sacrifices are inevitable. Tio. He's responsible for his own destruction, but the consequences of his actions still have to be taken care of. Crossbow State is still in panic. We still don't know the status of the Gnosis victims. We don't have time to grieve yet. Ellie. Thank you. Everything you said right. You said was right. Now isn't the time to feel down. Plus, we have promises to keep. 
to the chief and key. Of course. We promised we'd return to our side safe and sound. And we promised the chief that would settle this case so we can have it have our strength recognized. Hey, would you look at that? Managed to keep both of them. <laughs> Their family. It would appear this is the final curtain then. <sighs> For information, I never intended to help out at the last moment. Lowe's horrorism may have rubbed off on me. Ren. I've settled all my past regrets and grievances with Crossbell. I enjoyed it, but I think my presence will cause more harm than good. So it's time I take my leave. Ren. Yes, Estelle? I'm not ready to be caught yet. Nope, sorry, Ren. You're not getting away this time. Huh? It's been over half a year since I last saw your adorable face. After stopping by Liberal, we've been here for the past three months, and every day I've known you were watching over us. <laughs> we're staying at the Rose. We know you were staying at the Rosenberg Studio, in case you'd go to Crossbell City to play around. The hard part was catching you on the Obel Network. Well, of course it was. No one could possibly catch Kitty. Except us, right? Ren, everything there is to know about you. Your past, your sorrow, your pain, and also your happiness, everything you love doing. You can't run away from us, not anymore. Mm. I thought you'd give up after learning about Paradise. Once you learned about Paradise, still, I was convinced you would. If I was the same person I was two years ago, I might have have. But after meeting a wonderful, wonderful people like you and Lowell, I've become stronger than I once was. No matter what things happened in the past, good or bad, the irreplaceable moments that make you who you are. And with every little bit of my heart, I can't help but love you. Mm. It might be better for you to return to your family here in Crossbell, but no matter how unreasonable this may sound, we want you to be part of our family, Ren. After coming to Crossbell, we came to that conclusion all over again. <laughs> I don't understand. Pat matter? Why are you moving? There's no way. So it's it. He's been worried about Ren this whole time. Stop, please! Caught you. <laughs> Thanks, Panamatter. The adjustments made by Meister gave you the ability to move on your own, right? <laughs> never again. I'm never letting you get away from us again. From here on out, where we go, how we live, what we do, let's figure those things out together. But first, how about heading back to Liberal? No teeter has been dying to play with you, and for you to come home. <laughs> Ren. Wimp. It finally happened, guys. Uh. Huh. This is beautiful. It is. I don't think we'll be shedding a tear today. Everyone, thank you so much. I really don't know what to say. I don't know how it could ever come close to repaying you. Don't mention it. We're only helping out a good cause. Since he believed the two of you made this possible by never giving up and more. Importantly, never giving up on her. Joshua, allow me the first to congratulate you. Thank you, Lloyd. All of this has made me want to s wait to see Keith that much harder. Agreed. Zayd and the Chief, too. Zayd's been here, fam. Uh, <laughs> let's get a move on. Yeah. Special support section. Prepare to withdraw. Our mission may become... may be complete, but we need to arrest the revenge members and escort the civilians to the surface. Let's move out. Ah, the sunrise. It's beautiful. For real, the warmth feels amazing, too. What's Key doing out here? Wait, that voice. It can't be. Key. Hmm. Thank goodness. Lloyd, Ellie, Randy, you're all okay. Ruff. What are you doing here, Key? Looks like we got ourselves a slew of visitors. All the CGF corps within the city were fainted only moments ago, so naturally we took her and left as quickly as we could. The far of you need, a, need to teach her some manners. She wouldn't stop throwing a tantrum until we decided to bring her wigger with us. I suppose it's no surprise to see why she meshes with you so well. You say that, but I'll completely like you to comply. Sergei! <laughs> oh, you're here, Deputy Commander Bells and Sergeant Major Seeker. Great job in there, everyone. 
Everyone in the CGF has finally been freed thanks to your efforts, and thus we decided to come visit you. How's the dangers? Has the danger subsided? Yeah. All the fiends within the fort have vanished as well. Good thing too, made escorting everyone out of here a hell, hell of a lot easier. Man, tying up those mafios and leaving them in cells felt good though. Still, it's as if the situation will only continue to become more complicated. Indeed, we need an explanation to the citizenry. Brace ourselves for a potential international backlash. We must administer the proper care to any CGF members that were affected by the brainwashing. The Mafia will have probably have to be restrained for the time being. Not to mention, we'll have to assemble a trail of evidence linked to the case. In case your free time for the next month, goodbye. Allow, well, please, the Bracer Guild to assist in your endeavors. We appreciate it. <laughs> that sounds freaking lame. I don't want to get worked to death. However, I think the situation has finally taken a turn for the better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Woof. Haha. <laughs> Lloyd, Ellie, Randy, Teal. I need a report of yours at some point. Take your time. Have you settled all your business? Oh. One last thing. Yes, sir. Good work, team. I have to admit it. You guys have really matured. Guy would have been proud. Chief. Hmm. The camera has arrived, everyone. Step aside, folks. Out of my way. It is me, Grace. Grace? Even you're here? You think I'd let this scoop this juicy escape my clutches? Get real. Well, I'm going to need you all together nice and tightly. The whole situation calls for a group photo. Come on, people, no need to be shy. There's no stopping the lady, is there? Are we going to be in a picture? <laughs> yeah, you give her the biggest smile, okay? Okay. Should we join them, Zite? Ruff. <laughs> you just want to... So you want us out of here or what? I feel like we shouldn't steal your thunder. Oh, shut up. Get your butts in here. You too, little missy. Well, if you insist. This is an utter waste of time. Surely he's fine to indulge in times like these, no? Deputy Commander Bales and Sir can get in on the sides. I do want how this photo will turn out. Here we go, guys. Put on your best smile. Say cheese. So, <laughs> I like that uh, Dudley's touching his uh, glasses. But alas. I'm going to do this next bit next time. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys for the finale. Peace.